<laughs> Klopp, Simeone and Ferguson. All three have made a huge impact on their clubs. And we've all seen what happened to United when Sir Alex left. But how important is the manager really to a team? Well, today, we'll take a look at why Fergie, Klopp and Simeone mattered so much, but also why the manager might not always matter as much as with these three. Because what's common for all three is that they came in and turned the fortunes of the club around and have basically become synonymous with their success. But what did they do to make them so important? If we start off with Diego Simeone, he arrived in 2011 and immediately brought a strong physical and fighting style to Atletico. He adapted their 4-4-2 system to make it strong around the center of the park to create a core that was incredibly hard to break down. So Simeone kind of instilled the same intensity in the side that he had as a player, creating a system where the team has a wolf pack mentality, hunting the ball together with passion and ferocity. But they also stand together in defense like a Spartan phalanx, where every player fights with everything he has for the guy next to him. This is Sparta! Simeone is a defensive coach and he knows it, but El Cholo has turned Atletico into this fighting machine that's full of passion but also deadly on the counter. Another team that's seen a fantastic rise under their manager is Liverpool under Klopp, who came in four years ago to transform the club with his enthusiastic character and clear strategy for building a team, knowing exactly which type of player he needs. I want to feel comfortable in the group, I, actually, with my players. If a player doesn't fit the system and mentality of the club and, as Jürgen says, are good lads, then he just doesn't sign them. You can be an average player, you still can play in a very good football team because of the other boys. And you can help with your average skills in a football team. So that's really cool and that's what I love most. But Klopp has also instilled this never-say-die attitude with Liverpool, where they keep playing until the final whistle to push for the win. He's made Anfield even louder and really connected with both fans and players to make them adapt his passion and positive energy, which feels like it's running through every level of the club. Jürgen has created a family. He's hired world-class staff and adopted his heavy metal gig and pressing style to turn Liverpool into this winning machine that you always expect to score, even when they don't play well because they keep fighting for each other till the very end. And speaking of a winning machine, no one did it better than Sir Alex Ferguson of Manchester United. He was there for 27 years. We built the foundation of promoting and playing youth, constantly rebuilding a new title winning team, but most importantly, to always demand the highest effort and highest standards from his players, instilling them with a blind desire to always believe that the team would turn things around and win. Ferguson took a lot of risks because he's a born winner. But because the players were so prepared and because he only hired bad losers, as he said, he was pretty successful. The team always won the trophies. You know, we can never win it with individuals. We needed the backbone of a team, always. This created an environment where players expected his teammates to always give their best. But because Sir Alex was a brilliant man-manager too, he also created loyalty by helping players evolve both on the pitch but also as human beings. And Ferguson is revered by his former players, most of them at least, where many speak of him as a father figure. He managed to transfer his meticulous preparation and endless work ethic to every corner of the club and is arguably one of the finest managers ever. Of course, someone like that is pretty hard to replace. And we all know the story of how David Moyes came in, let all of Ferguson's backroom staff who knew the United way of doing things go and brought in his own. And uh, the club hasn't won the league since Sir Alex left. But is it always like that? Well, no. Barcelona, for instance, have done well despite having quite a few managers, simply because their philosophy shines through at every level of the club. That was also the case for United, but at Barcelona, this velocity comes from more than just one man setting the course for 27 years. So why are Klopp, Simeone and Sir Alex so important? Well, they managed to get the clubs to adapt to their philosophy and they were given time. So yes, some managers are extremely important, while other clubs already have great philosophies in place to make sure that they have a direction that's less dependent on one man. 
but what do you think? Let us know who the greatest manager is down below. And then don't forget to subscribe before you bounce over to binge watch more epic football videos in the playlist down to your right. And with that, guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.